you can see because it still is quite light but my cab was going off here it stopped now um, that's really interesting because I haven't actually properly set up yet so that's interesting that that oh it's going off again problem is I'm just coming closer I hope you don't mind I bought these for you It's still quite light. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's what scares me more. <laughs> Spiders. Welcome to another episode of Ah oh, Ghost Real. My name is Kareen and I am the lead investigator. Well, actually, I am the only investigator. <laughs> but you know what I mean. And I am here at Mother Ludham's Cave, which is behind me. And this is supposed to be a haunted location where a good witch is supposed to reside. The legend of Mother Ludlam, the Surrey Witch. So the legend itself can be traced back to the 17th century, when it is said that a friendly old white witch called Mother Ludlam used to live in the local cave. Being friendlier than most witches, Mother Ludlam developed quite an enviable reputation by lending local villagers anything that they asked for. Would-be borrowers were required to stand on a boulder at the entrance to Mother Ludlam's cave and clearly state what it is that they required. Once they got home, they would find that object of desire waiting on them on their doorstep. So basically, she was a bit like, I suppose, Amazon. <laughs> anyway, one day, a local man visited the grave and asked to borrow the witch's cauldron. Hesitant, she did actually regrant, uh, grant his request although this was her personal property. She reminded the man that he must return the item within two days. But the man failed to return the cauldron and Mother Ludlam, gripped by rage, left the confines of her cave to go and seek revenge on this man. Upon hearing that he was a wanted man, the borer sought refuge in Frensham Church, and this is where the cauldron apparently remains to this day. Whether or not this legend holds any truth remains conjecture, but what we do know is that the cauldron was used for centuries by priests at Fren Frensham for the brewing of church ale. It was even used for catering at religious festivals, so, it does actually mean that there is a cauldron. So, the question now remains, was there really Mother Ludlam? There is also variations to this story. In the 1937 version of this legend, it is recorded that one day the devil in disguise visited Mother Ludlam and asked to borrow the con cauldron. Recognising the devil from his hoof prints in the sand, she refused. So then uh, the devil stole the cauldron, 
With the witch in hot pursuit, he made great leaps, and the devil created a series of hills around the area when he touched the ground. These now being these sandstone hills, and they are called the devil's jump. The devil dropped the cauldron on the last of these hills, which is now called Kettleberry or Kettleberry Hill. Mother Ludlam recovered her cauldron, but she placed it in Frensham Church, where it would be safe from the devil. And then the third version, recorded in 1920, is the cauldron could be borrowed by climbing the highest peak of the devil's jump, known as the Stony Jump, and whispering to the fairies who live there in a hole in a rocky outcrop on the summit. If the borrower failed to return an item, the fairies condemned the borrower to have the cauldron follow him or her wherever they went. Distressed by the presence of their pursuer, they would then seek sanctuary in Frencham Church where they would collapse and die, leaving the cauldron trapped inside. So there you go. I mean, there's three variations of the legend associated with Mother Ludlam. I mean, the earliest version of the legend was recorded by John Aubrey in 1673 in his National History Antiquities of Surrey book. However, it makes no mention of a witch and it is likely that the story was originally associated apparently with fairies However, again, we are not 100% sure about that, but John Aubrey visited the area in 1673 and was informed that Ludwell, which was the name then, was named after Lud, King of the South Saxons, who went to bath his wounds after the battle. A story originating from Norman Welsh writer, historicized legends Geoffrey of Monmouth as Lud, as the ruler of the Celtic Britain and founder of London. A modern enthographer would identify Lud as a Celtic god and apparently there was a temple dedicated to him that once stood in London near, of course, Ludgate. So he was known as the Celtic god of healing. The Lud element of the name is maintained in the latest adaptation of Mother Ludham, meaning it is Old English for loud, nose, loud noisy spring and also can be traced back to healing. Um, so a bit more about the cave itself. Obviously, the cave has been given many names. Uh, It is known now as Mother Ludlam's Cave, but has been known as the past as Mother Ludlam's Hole, and is a small cave in the sandstone cliff of the Way Valley at Moor Park in the southwest of Surrey. The cave is subject to a number of local legends, and a spring rises in the cave which has been recorded in the 13th century. It was used by the monks at the time for Waverley Abbey. A monk named Simon is credited with identifying the spring as a suitable water source for the rest of the monks in 1218. After the original source had dried up, so the story is that... uh, a monk named Simon had was given um, the duty of trying to find another source because the original source that they all used had dried up. The spring had gone. So he was basically told, you know, you have to go and find some more water. And so he did. The brothers of the abbey dedicated the spring to St. Mary, so it also, at that time, became known as St. Mary's Woe. The cave is a naturally formed spring, 
and cave which has been then made by the spring but it may have been enlarged by the monks and was made into a grotto possibly during the 18th century again not really sure when it was um but it was further enhanced by the addition of an iron stone arched entrance possibly during the reign of queen victoria the cave has been explored and surveyed at around 200 feet long in 1945 and as 192 feet to recent roof collapse in 1961. So unfortunately I cannot go in because of the bats. So there's actually three protected species of bats here. So the cave is locked because of this because obviously you don't want to disturb them. However, I have put some cat balls down. Uh, interestingly, the cat ball there you can see in shot has gone off twice. The other one which is here has not gone off at all. Um, so that is quite interesting. The only issue is that it's too light still. So it's annoying because you can't really see them going off. But never mind, we persevere. <laughs> I'm calling out to the good witch. If you are here, Mother Ladum, then could you please help me by getting people to subscribe to my channel for me? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> um, although I don't think she does that. But hey, on to that. If you really enjoy this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment for me if you have enjoyed this one but anyway let's get into it okay so what i thought i would start off with is a simple basically a simple um voice recording session however there is a lot of background noise um so i think this might be a bit of a challenge but we will give it a go i'm gonna give it a go in terms of the recorder and see if i get anything now there is a ton of history here like an actual ton of history this is why i've got my rosemary beads because also the legend states that she had a cauldron mother lad him and the cauldron was supposedly taken what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start off i'm gonna do a voice recording I'm going to put it where the cat ball was going off, so down there where the cat ball is, and I'm going to see if I get any results there, so the problem is, as I said, I can't go in. EVP session, Mother Ladim's Cave, session one. Problem is, as I said, there is a lot of background noise. But Mother Ladim, if you're here, I'm calling out to you. My name is Kareen. I mean you no harm. I just wanted to find out if you're still here and maybe what your story is. None of the things I've got here are going to harm you or hurt you in any way. I promise. So I've got a little device down here. And you can speak into it. And I'll be able to hear you. So my first question. Is. Were you a witch? My second question is 
is, did you live here? My third question is when were you around? When were you here? Also, I just want to point out there is water sounds and dripping sounds. So those sounds are just the sounds of the cave. I just want to point that out for myself on the recording there. But if you are here, Mother Ladum, could you make a different sound for me? Could you maybe step in the water or something? Only if you would like. was me that just made the cat go off and <clears throat> EVP session Mother Ladim's cave session one I've just put it in that was me too the problem is as I said there's a lot of background noise but Mother Ladim you're here I'm calling out to you my name is Karine I just wanted to find out if you're still here and maybe what your story is. And maybe what your story is. None of the things I've brought to you are going to harm you or hurt you in any way. I promise. I just want to say that's not paranormal with a dog. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, um, I'm not sure I got anything there, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm actually not sure if I got anything there, to be honest. I may have got something when I first started speaking, but I'm not 100% sure and I will need to listen to that back at home without those background noises because then I heard a dog and there's still just a lot of noise and also as well water making that noise does not help. But if you guys spotted anything then obviously please do let me know in the comments below. Also by the way while I'm here I was thinking I may do a live here um, if that is something, I've got a few locations in mind, but I'm going to let you guys vote for the one you want me to do as a live. So put in the comments below whether you'd like me to do a live here, um, where I potentially I'll come back maybe a bit more in the dusk maybe or something. Um, but if you'd like me to do a live here, then put that down in the comments below. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a spirit box session. So if you are here, Mother Ludden, could you show yourself to me? Could you just pop up and say hi? Or wave at me or something? That would be awesome. That would be amazing. I'd really appreciate that one. <laughs> 